yeah. So today I want to talk about race and the youth authority. Now off the bat, like, I gotta let it be known that not every, like there wasn't one like large organization that oversaw all of YA. Like all fucking institutions in YA were different. Southern institutions like Nellis and Basel were way different than a Southern institution like Ventura. And YTS was like on another level. And Southern institutions were a lot different than Northern institutions like Preston, or Wage Close, DeWitt, uh, Carl Houghton, Chad. Like they all had their own shit and everybody was way different than fire camps, right? Uh, so fire camps are a lot more friendly, fucking just chill. A lot of violators of people going home and shit. So I won't even talk about fire camps that much because there really ain't shit going on there. Mainly, mainly fucking, uh, I'll talk about Nellis and a little bit of YTS. I did most of my time in Nellis and I was in YTS very shortly. Now in Nellis, when I first got there, you know, there were two things going on. You had respected black, which Bloods, Crips, and the Bay all linked together to form respected black. They had their own structure going on, their own rules. And you had Firma Raza, which is basically Southsiders and wards of uh, like residents from Southern California all linking up together. That was that was Firma Raza. So fuck it. We had our own thing going, right? And uh, the thing about Firma Raza though is you didn't have to be Chicano to be Firma Raza. A lot of times you had to just be from a Chicano gang uh, or roll, just roll with us. Now, like there was fucking, uh, there were white cats from uh, Mexican gangs. They were Firma Raza. You had, I think there was an Asian cat for a while and then I think he ended up getting dropped and shit. But you had black, black cats that were from fucking Mexican gangs. Like uh, Domer from Florencia, rest in peace. Negro from Radford. And they were Firma Raza. You know, so fucking, and people say like, you can't like, I know it's like a trip because when you say like, oh yeah, you can't eat after blacks or you can't eat after anyone who's not Firma Basically, that's not, it's, you can't eat after anyone who's not Firma Raza. So if you're busting a spread and Domer or Negro came, like you're gonna bust with them, right? Because they're Firma Raza. So they're fucking, that's not, that's not an issue. You can't be like, oh, but he's black. It's like, man, that fool's a homie. That, that's what it comes down to, right? That fool represents the South Side. That fool's Firma Raza. So it's like, that fool would jump for us. And, and Domer for sure, not, not the Negro would, the Negro would too, but Domer would kick off riots and shit, you know what I mean? Like that fool fucking, that fool did his thing, you know what I mean? And fucking, so, so you know like, they, he get his smash on, he get his ride on and shit, that's what he did. And fucking, he used Embrace just like, just like anyone else. So, that's, so you had that right there, right? For some reason though, uh, respected black, like they would give out the white boys a chance they were crips because there was a lot of white boys going in there saying they were crips and shit and they get a chance but when I was there uh, it didn't work out too well for a lot of it's often you know what I mean you would see a lot of them come in uh, and they get fucking bombed on right and mainly because a lot of the, the gangs in there because you're still gang banging in, in, in Alice so mainly because a lot of the gangs in there are like from South Central and Compton uh, and they beef it crazy with each other, so fucking like you're gonna you're gonna roll up with fucking enemies and shit, like fucking. And then you even have like what the GCs and the NHCs going at it and shit. So you'll have somebody feeling some type of way trying to push up on you. A lot of times you would see them cracking shit. And um, the like uh, white boys, they didn't really have a lot going on. I remember there was one skinhead, and there was one peckerwood. They, they weren't really like fucking like fucked with this shit the skinhead was more low-key he would chill and shit like he, he wouldn't he was an Adams which is a like quiet cottage and shit so he didn't really fucking like cause much disruption he didn't really do shit but like at the same time nobody really fucked with him you know what I mean like he wasn't no punk there was a wood there too and he, he would do his thing he, would, he wouldn't let it like they try to fuck with him he would get him up he would do what he had to do and shit. He was from suicidal tendencies and shit. So like, but the respect to black, they made sure that most of the white boys in there caught the blues, you know what I mean? As soon as they came in. 
Cause they didn't like that fucking white power fucking uh, shit, you know what I mean? Cause a lot of it was covered in like fucking anti-black propaganda and shit. So they would they would go off on them. Not 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 that all of them are, you know, but but a lot of that shit was. So they recognized that, so they'd go off on them and shit. So you had that going on, right? And now this for a while it was like segregated amongst racial lines and shit, but it wasn't too bad. Like there, there wasn't hostile, really hostile feelings. But that started changing when before I got to the end of that shit. Before I left the shit because you had like it all starts in lock up like you have people behind the door and shit at first it's just cases wolfing on each other but then you have like people just saying fuck this shit start cracking ears and shit so you'll have like Pima Rasa normally when I first got the Pima Rasa I wouldn't really wolf they'd say fuck it when I see you I see you but a lot like that started getting frustrating for them because be you had a cats that weren't gonna come to the line they weren't gonna hit the line they were punks you have fools in there and lock up for like 18 months and shit like they'd hit the line and they'd fucking get scared and fucking end up back in fucking lock up real quick so you had that shit going on so you had homies start cracking ears you had like respected blacks started cracking ears started disrespecting each other and when they hit the line it would just crack off and it was real racist and shit but I was like damn for me that was a trip because a lot of these fools grew up with each other and shit especially if you're like like I started going to the halls when I was 14 years old, but there was people in there. I remember when I first went to halls, I went to LP. I was in GNH, and there were people in there like 12 years old and shit, like 13, 12 years old. They're fucking even younger cats would be in like W and shit. So fucking yeah, you had cats that you that you remember that you seen every time. Like they'd be in camp with each other. They'd fucking like they even knew each other from the streets and shit, and they'd start like going to war with each other. Just over fucking, you know, people woofing and lock up and shit. So you had that shit kicking off like crazy. For me, it was a trip, though. I couldn't do that shit. Like, I would, I, I would have to get involved in the riots and shit, but I couldn't be cracking ears because, like, I was cool as fuck with a lot of fools. Like, I was real cool with a lot of fools from uh, Harlem 30s. Like, they were real fucking cool. And I was real cool with the with, with They were kind of weird. I was, I was real cool with their, their enemies, with the uh, Black Pistone. And my boy, like one of my fucking dogs right there, was Milkman from Pasadena Denver Lanes. Rest in peace. Like fucking, that was the homie right there. He had a lot of love for the homies from Monte Flores and uh, from Florencia. So he would always be like, F for death, F for death. You know what I mean? So he, he'd tell me, what's up, Cricket Nest? What's up, Blood? Like, let me know, Blood. Any of your enemies roll through? I'm smashing them on sight. And like that was the boy and shit, you know what I mean? So like for me, like growing up, you've always had like propaganda on both sides, right? So for homies, like black people would often say, oh, essays can't fight, which is a fucking myth. It's like it's, it's just propaganda, it's not true. Because my boy Travi from Monte Flores, that's the homie right there. That fool had fucking hands, small, small cat, but he take off on fools. Travieso from Mountain View, a little bit bigger cat. That boy had hands like a motherfucker. Local from Moore Park. Like there was a there was a gang homie that had hands and shit. And then you would also hear the homies say, like, ah, oh, when a riot kicks off, the black fools run. Like you'll see, they'll run quick. They ain't ready for that shit. That shit's propaganda too. Cause sometimes you'd see, you would see like fucking respected blacks kick off a riot. They say, fuck that shit, we're gonna rock and roll. Uh, or sometimes we we get off first, and they they wouldn't they wouldn't, they'll fucking stand their ground. You know what I mean? Until that shit's broken up. So it's all propaganda. We all believe that shit because for a while because we fucking uh want to justify our actions, our division and shit. We want to justify the reason why we're not including each other, why we're not teaming up, right? So that was kind of fucked up. But you, you, after a while being there, you see that's all bullshit because you see people from both sides that are fucking riders, people from both sides that are fucking G's, and people from both sides that are fucking punks. You know what I mean? So, like, being a rider isn't exclusive to one race or one organization. There's riders that are Norteños, there's riders that are Sureños, there's riders that are Bloods, Crips, Peckerwoods, like, everywhere, right? 
So that was a Nellis. YTS, that shit was a little different. Because when, when I got there, uh, the Grave Busters were a thing, but they, they, had, they were there before me. So the Grave Busters weren't around anymore, but a lot of them, a lot of people that were Grave Busters were still there. And they had that same attitude. So as they hit the line, they're going to kick it off. And they were like phase one. So they'd be in The Rock, right? And The Rock was O&R and YTS. And when they fucking, uh, that's lockup. When they got out of The Rock, you go to phase one, whatever cottage you're on or, or unit you're on. Uh, you'd be on phase one, segregated programming. And then you'd be, they'd slowly get you to phase one, integrated programming. Phase, if you're phase one, that's just a bitch to get out of. Like, for real. Like, especially phase one integrated programming, that's just gonna kick off. Like, for real. You're gonna have a, a green lighter that walks through there, or you're gonna have a, a fucking homie that just wants to fucking rock and roll and shit. So, that's just gonna kick off. And that shit fucking will just go on and on and on and fucking. You would say, even have people that were just like, man, fuck this shit. I've been in with YA for the last seven to 10 years, whatever, however long they've been there. I can't take this place anymore. I'm never getting out of phase one. I'm gonna slice somebody up next time we come out and fucking I'm going to the joint. So like, you would just have shit like that. Like, who's right out of their fucking minds and shit? But yeah, so that's, that's the way it was. Like, it was a trip because at times you would, you would be able to program, you'd be able to see, you'd be able to chill with people of different races, and you'd be able to, like, I was able to see, like, how similar we were, you know what I mean? And other times, you'd just be like, fuck, man, you gotta roll with your peeps, you know, you gotta roll with who you came with. So I'm a Southsider, so I roll with people with Rasa, so when something happens, I had to roll with them. There was no fucking, uh, there was no excuses, there was no, ah, uh, nah, dog. I see, I seen the light, like, Cause you're, you're gonna have a difficult time and shit And I know that sounds like some follower shit But it's like dog You don't wanna be on that receiving end Of fucking getting fucked up Getting fucking everyone attacking you for nothing You know what I mean? All you, like, so best thing to do is just roll with the program Think about changing and change when you get out So that's what I do now Now I know Exactly what's expected of me If I were to be busted right? So I don't put myself in that position because there's no way like let's say if I'm busted with one of my boys that like a homie that has this black like I, there's no way I could go against this fool that's my motherfucking dog you know what I mean so I'm not gonna put myself in that position now I'm gonna stay out of that shit I'm gonna not, not stay out of a riot like, like I'm, I'm gonna stay out of jail completely you're not gonna catch me in there you're not gonna catch me doing anything that's gonna put me in jail not only for that but for my kids like what the fuck how am I gonna be Separated from my children Doing all kinds of shit Like nah I'm good You know what I mean Like I'm staying out here I'm gonna do my thing But that's the way it was in there And uh Somebody asked me What about the staff There are staff You'll see that They choose sides That if they're Mexican They'll be more friendly Toward the Mexican If they're black They'll be more friendly Towards the black But when it comes to like Corrupt ass cops Staff members and shit They roll with whoever Has the money If uh They can slang to a fucking if they're black and they can slang to a Mexican cat, they're gonna do that. If they're Mexican, they can slang to a black homie, they're gonna do that. Like, it is what it is. They don't give a fuck. They just wanna make money. You know what I mean? And wards are the same way. They don't fucking care what race is bringing in the drugs. They're gonna take them and they're gonna use them. They're gonna slang them. You know what I mean? That's the way it is. But yeah, that's what I gotta say about that. I'm out. Peace.